Hey Cactus friends, it's Jenny from Cookies Cacti. We are in Tucson today at a nursery that's quite well known called Plants for the Southwest. And gosh, I remember I used to come here in the very early parts of my cactus journey when I saw Hunter's video at Cactus Quest. Uh, he, did a, he did a tour over here, or he had some shopping videos. And I've been here many times, but it's been a long time since I've last been here. It's probably been perhaps over a year, if not getting close to that. You know, the last time I was in Tucson was when I did the video on B&B Cactus Farm. And I haven't been back since, first because Cookie's health had problems, and then the summer just came in and couldn't spend any amount of time outside. But it's November now, it's not too hot, it's like in the mid-70s, and so we're back in Tucson. So today we're gonna walk through their retail areas. They have this retail space, which has a lot of cactus and succulents. And then they have a lot of stage plants as well. And then they have another house over there, retail space, with a lot of like caudiciforms, trees, aloes, adenium, pacopodium over there. We'll walk over there. And then I also got permission to go into their lithops houses, like their growing space, which is usually off limits for customers. So it's, a, it's an honor to be able to walk through there. And I did not budget that into the time, so we'll do the best that we can. So let's go ahead and take a look. By the way, there was a video done by Summer Rain Oaks with a really, really nice interview with the one of the owners, Jean. I'm pretty sure I, she needs no introduction from me. It's Summer Rain Oaks, right? Um, and many of you, if not all of you, have already seen that interview and even pointed me to it. And I've watched that interview. It's, it was done very, very well. She did the, the interview and the deep stuff, and I'm doing what we do best, which is shopping. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm going to start over here in the more condysiform area because there's a lot of people in the cactus area. So there's this little area as you're walking from one of the areas to the other, and they have a lot of decorations and let's say like landscape plants. And the employee gave me permission to go into their lithops house, which I am so excited about because I've never been in there even, you know, just being in here on my own. This is $300, Mammalaria gymnospina. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's got crests in it too. Holy moly, talk about specimen. There's another one over here. As usual, I budgeted about two hours for filming, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, Plants for the Southwest isn't as large as, let's say, Box or B&B, &B, so I'm a little less intimidated in terms of the amount of ground to cover, but if they're allowing me into the Lithops house, then my plans have been changed. I see lots of landscape-sized plants. So this is the what I call like the caudiciform greenhouse and it's a retail space and they just have like lots of leafy succulents so adenium like you can see here lots of adenium I see like a hundred dollars there's euphorbia mixed in here this is forty five dollars and there's like boswellia bursera Pacopodium, what is this? This is like Aliwadia. Some, you know, some things I'm not so familiar with. So lots and lots of caudiciforms. Let's see if we do a sampling on pricing. This Bursera Phagoroides is $35 in this gallon pot, but decent size. This Euphorbia Vig, oh no, Vig, Goriri, oh no, $45. This Boswellia, Sucra, oh, frankincense, $75. And let's take a look at these adenium. Oh, this is Moringa. Moringa stenopetal something, $35. Let's see these adenium. I see a bunch of, I see 50, I see 100. I see 45, 
because there's different sizes in there. Some of them are in bloom, very beautiful. On this side, they've got like giant, probably their private collection specimens. So pretty, but look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. I think this is a pack of podium. Whoa, I've never seen one that big. Oh, look at that. It's more Bursera, different Bursera species that I see. I see a lot of 45, $55. There's some Euphorbia stuck in there. <gasps> look at this Wawitia. This is actually for sale. It's $2,500. Look at that. Two leaves for its entire life. So, why is like at least three plants in here? Four plants? Five plants? Wow. Whoa. I have one Wellwitchia mirabilis, mirabilis. It's really small compared to that. This is, I think, uh, Denium socotranum, probably. I don't see a tag on there. You can see lots of caudiciforms. All right, so this one, I'm just going to kind of pick and choose things as I go because there's so much. And it's a realm that I'm not that familiar with. This is probably some sort of ficus. You see the roots are wrapped around a rock. Yeah, a lot of ficus here. Yeah, this is all stuff that I don't know very well. You all know that. Those are rooting. See some adenium, some pacopodium. I have a pacopodium densiflorum that I got from here, or densiflora. Doing really well when all my other caudiciforms died. The pacopodium actually managed to survive. I don't know how. It must be just. What is this? I can't read the. Can't read a label. There's some pots along the ground as well. Whoa. My shadow's in the way as usual. This looks like some sort of acatillo. Bunch of adenium. Sorry, all who are caudiciform people. This is a. Uh, oh no, I forgot. I have one of these at home. Still alive. This is Siphostema jute. It's a little baby. I bought my Siphostema jute from here, and that's still alive as well. Let's get some pack of both. Pack of podium. Let's see. Look at that. Ficus. Look at this. Aloe. Lots and lots of aloe. Oh. I doubt this is, this is not for sale. This is probably their own collection. A lot of uh, Pacopodium brevicali. Oh, okay. Aloes. I see some stinkies. Kaluma. Not doing the best job of prices because I can't see them. It's probably a fixed price for the like the two and a half inch pot. This is probably Euphorbia. Can't tell any prices, sorry all. Some more Adenium. See there's some hanging baskets up here. Wow, what is this? What is this? It's not for sale, it's got a red tag on it. Lots of adenium. I think they're pretty well known for their adenium. Let's 
basically lots and lots of little trees. This is where they're growing their brevicoli. Look at that. Oh, look, they've got some over there. Oh, these are so cool. These are all propagates where they're growing them. It's so aloe, probably dorstenia. That's really beautiful. I don't do well with dorstenia, so I don't try them anymore. This might be like a Fakia, Fokia edulis, maybe. Could be wrong. Let's see. There's lots of pacopodium in here. Bigger pacopodium. If you're in the Tucson area, definitely recommend that you come over here. I think they're open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So just keep that in mind if you're planning to visit. You know, this is quite a well-known nursery in this area, and I think it's more publicly known as well. Oh, it's a nice euphorbia. These are so pretty. I think we saw something like this at the fall plant sale at the Desert Botanical Garden, and I probably made the same comment. <laughs> Just always gravitate towards certain types of plants. And I'm always judging them by the cover because <laughs> it's all based off of looks. Oh, they have Dorstenia gigas. Yeah, I'm not trying this again. Some really interesting caudiciforms here. So it's about, I think, getting close to two o'clock in the afternoon. Forecast is about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not bad at all, but the sun in the desert is always very, very strong and very intense. This has a couple of volunteers in there. Oh man, look at these. Brevicoli. Man, those are so pretty. Okay, here's some pricing. So this Brevicoli is $150. Those are big though, really, really big. There's some little ones, but I can't see a price. I think this one's a leaf. Oops, goes my shadow again. So if you're really into caudiciforms, highly, highly recommend that you come check it out. Check out this house. Wow, what is this? Oh, it's an aloe. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. So beautiful. More Pacopodium. Sorry, I just don't know Pacopodium very well. So I think Plants for the Southwest definitely has one of the largest lith lithop collections. In the United States, probably for sure, and maybe at one time, the largest in the world. And you can see some of their specimens right here that are for sale. So I see, let's see, and I'm not too familiar with the lithops uh, species. I just think they look really cool, but I know some of these are very rare, very highly sought after. You can probably see it, will probably see it in the way that it's priced. But uh, if you love lithops, this is the place to go. So see, like that's a hundred dollars. That's a hundred. It's really hard for me to read the, the labels on the ID. That's seventy dollars. It has a whole bunch of different species all potted up together. So and then some of these are like sixty. I see seven fifty. 30, 750. Oh, they've got kind of fight them. No. It's like ten dollars, twenty-five, twenty dollars, something like that. I think it just depends on what it is and how big the pot is. Just it's funny working here. But it's very rare. Kind of fight them. It's not. It's yeah, not exactly. common to come like across conophytum at retail nursery, nursery, so that's very special. <laughs> uh, Some 
uh, oh, Gasteria, I see $15 there. And you can hear that there's other customers and employees talking to folks, so I'll do my best. Just good. Agave, Perii, $35. This is interesting. This is a Masonia Depressa, $12.50. Something I really don't know. Euphorbia, $75. 45. They usually have an assortment of pottery made by like local artists as well, which is really nice. I've bought plenty of them from here. Look at this bowl. That's not a bowl, it's like a trough. Lithops. It's a lithop season. You can see a lot of them are either in bloom or have like about to bloom or have spent blooms. Look at that aloe tree. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see what they have on this table. Let's see. Euphorbia. Oh no, I can't read it upside down. It's $45. Do the best I can. I also don't want to like touch their stuff. Whoa, so this trough is actually for sale. It's $1,200. So it gives you some ideas on how you can stage your own plants. This looks so cool. We've got some graphs over here. I see 35 over there. I see 60 here. Delea, 125. Potted. Little Luchtenbergia Principis in a two and a half inch pot. It's 1250. Got some staged plants, some gasteria, 175, $100, at Mammalaria. Well, they've got a few Aerocarpus out in the re retail space today. So Aerocarpus trigonus, see compared to my hand how big it is, 150. Oh gosh, they're all in flower. Look at this, Aerocarpus CF Trigonus cross with something has a question mark on it. Beautiful bloom, humongous pot, $325. Got a Thelocactus 65 staged. Some good ideas on staging. Ferrocactus Latispinus 45 potted. Some stinkies. 68.50, I think. Some more lithops. This is a hundred dollars. Aloe jacunda, 25. Another one of those pots of a whole mix of different lithop species. It's 70. This is 210 for the Euphorbia esquilenta, and it is giant. I believe these pots are made by Sid Henderson, I believe is a local pottery artist. This is uh, $68. This is pretty. Oh, and then Plants for the Southwest has these amazing uh, Astrophytum onzuka. This is 150 Look at that. I'm so attracted to that. Oreo, oh, uh, Oreo Sirius Trulii, 110 potted. Astrophytum. Oh gosh, I can't read it. It says Super Kabuto on there. Nudum, 200 potted, staged. If you buy this, you can just bring this to a show and you know, use it as the as your specimen. It's $160 for Astrophytum. Capricorn, staged. It's a giant thing. $350, like that. Let's see, oh, this is a cool pot. Oops, my shadow is in the way. That's really cool, it's $75. It's got this staged, I like all the staging they've done. Bunch of euphorbia. I see obisa, I see like a polygona or horita. I can never tell the difference. Suzanne, maybe ferox. I think it's 150 for the whole dish. 
This is a mammillaria all potted up. Albe, Albe Lanata, 225. So cool. So, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this view. Oh my gosh. Astrophytum Anzuka, 100. I might take this home. Got Super Kabuto, but it's really big. I think this is a four inch pot. Look at that. 150. This is 150. See a lot of 150s on here. 150. Oh wow, 150. Wow, look at this huge astrophytum. It's beautiful. And it's quadricostata because it only has four ribs. And I see 100. That's not too bad. Oh my gosh, it's so attractive. Sh should I take this home? I see some aloe. All sorts of different aloe. I think maybe Dorsenia back here. This is 75. Pinio Sirius Gregii, $45, Queen of the Night. Look, it's so big that it, or so t long that it's resting on that dish. Cory Panther. This is Clava, $35. Some Ferro Cactus, $35. Bello Cactus. Hastifer, thirty-five dollars. There's another Anzuka, it's one hundred and fifty. It's just so big. Some Tefro cactus. Wow, look at the spines on here. It's so long. Sixty-five dollars. Tefro cactus, PD, fill something. Hmm. Cephala serious. Espastoa. Looks like it's doing something weird. Some totem pole cactus. 35. It's a cool tougher cactus geometricus. 150. Potted. Oh, it's not potted. Well, it's potted in a nursery pot. Here's a staged dish. I see 250. Wow, and you get that big of an astrophytum. That's cool. Look at this shape. It's 150. I love it when they're really chunky like that. This one's very interesting. It's an Anzuka. It looks really ancient. It's $200. Looks like it's lived quite a life. It's Euphorbia pseudoglobosa. And the Opuntia pad is covering the first digit of the price, so I don't know what it is. Pretty though, super pretty. Mammillaria fishery, $25. It is two headed. Look at that Gemnus Vina. Wow. 125 staged. And Obergonia denegrii, 175 potted and staged. This cute little dish, 50 bucks. Totem pool. Oh, and look, along the ground, there's like Kalanchoe, or Mother of Millions, or is it Kalancho? I feel like I ask the same question every time. So, so some Echinocereus Baileyi, Vara Albispinus, $35. $35. So pretty in the light as well. Feral Cactus was Lizeni. Uh, gold, thirty-seven fifty. Oh, here we go with more crests on the Myrtillo cactus geometrizans. Echinocereus pentalophus. I think I'm accidentally growing one of these, or a pot of those, or two pots. Thirty-five dollars. Oh, maybe it'll look like that someday. Wow, look at, look at the way they staged this. It's a Trichocereus, $45. So Euphorbia obesa crossed with Meliformis is $45. It's giant and it has pups on it. 
Got a whole bunch of totem poles for $35. Got this Tefro cactus, $175 for this. Wow. I'm gonna take that home. I guess very carefully. Here's another Geometricus for $150. It's not bad for something that big. So another Onzuka. I see $150 there. Some agaves. Maybe some mangave. I see some uh, dikia. Pottery as well. This one's 75 for Anzuka Varnudum, potted. I was looking at this earlier. Look at this. This is a Thello cactus conophyli. 375 for this massive massive dish and massive plant. Uh -huh. This is another Thello cactus species. It's 187.50. Got a Ferro cactus glaucus 175. Interesting, they have a lot of like staged and potted stuff this time. I think more than the the pre, like the prior time that I've been here. Lichtenbergia principis. Oh, I so wish I could borrow some of that pollen. I so want to cross this with either a ferro cactus or astrophytum. I have one of these, but I, I think it may be too young to flower. Gosh, how much is this? 125. Uh, I can't do it. It's probably San Pedro. Got some mammalaria. Can't read it. it. Starts with an M. It's fifteen dollars. So some uh, probably Echinocereus. Me? Oh no, this is not. I don't know what this is. It's got a red not for sale tag on it. Pharaoh cactus. It's Mammalaria. Probably Elongata. Oh, so cute. These are seven fifty. Ferro cactus latispinus. This is probably organ pipe cactus. Yeah, it is. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at those red spines. This ferro cactus. It's 210 for the whole potted, like the whole potted up plant. Got a whole bunch of astrophytum coalents. This is some, a species I have never seen at a retail nursery before. I'm growing these from seed and they're about, probably about this big right now. They grow really, really slow. But you can see, you might ask, you know, what's the difference between coalence and Myriostigma? And I can't tell you. I think their flowers are probably different. But if you look at the flecking, there's something about it that just is different from Myriostigma. It's like super, super heavy on the flecking. And I see that on my own plants as well. This must be a euphorbia. Got some Coripantha elephantitans. This is interesting. Mammalaria C. F. San Angelensis. It's really pretty. I've never heard of this. I love how fuzzy it is. More Geometricus seedlings, $35. Some Euphorbia Susanne, $12.50 for a two and a half inch pot. Got some Euphorbia here. Got Esquilenta, $12.50. Got some hybrids, I believe. Yeah, those are hybrids. And then stuff that looks like Obisa but sometimes I have a hard time telling the difference between Obisa and Symmetrica, so I'm not 100% sure. I see some, it's a girl, it's a girl, that's a boy. These are probably Meliformis, $12. This is Obisa, this is $25, and it's pretty big, because it's in a, like a three and a quarter inch pot. Because I remember when we went to the fall plant sale, they had ones that were probably about this big. And it was, what, 20, I think? Terrible memory. This is 25. It's not bad at all. This is Mammalera guilzoiana, 15. These have really pretty flowers. 
probably solo cactus. Got some Echinocereus, Quen. Oh, I can't read the rest of it. We might have seen these at the fall sale as well. Some more with the Bergia. Some more Echinocereus. Wow, look at that one. Maybe it got damaged on the, is it the mirror stem? And it's like multi-headed now. Oh, these are cool. These are Turbinocarpus um, bullianus. And we saw this, I believe, at the show and sale. And it was like potted up and stayed really, really cool. These are $15. I would get one, except I don't do well with Turbinocarpus. I don't know why. Echinofossilocactus. Oh, there's more of the Bullianus. There's like three in there. There's such funny little plants. The Langata. Okay, we've made it through their retail area. Now back here is like all their growing space, their own private collection. See, these are not for sale, but again, you know, you get these like really cool ideas on how to stage your plants like this is probably almost three feet wide if not two and a half to three feet and they put a bunch of these medusa type plants in there oh my gosh this must be strombo cactus discoformis look how mature that is i don't think i've ever seen a strombo cactus this mature with my eyes so cool. Some fellow cactus. Oh my gosh, look at this. Gymnocalisium. Oh my gosh. Amazing. So these are their own. Oh my what? Oh my gosh, look at that. Probably Super Kabuto. Holy moly. I remember when I came here in the past, I remember this dish. I've seen this in the past. I've taken pictures of it. So these Medusa, oh, look at that. And I would just look at these and think, you know, maybe someday my plant would get to some sense of maturity and it kind of gives you an idea of what to expect. So here they're all propagations, growing. Oh, this is really cool. It's either obesa or symmetrica. So big. And there's like lithops thrown in there and like little seedlings. Isn't that neat? See here they're growing stuff and then they've got their own, own plants from their own collection. Oh my gosh, what is that? So cool. Wow, look at that. I love how short the leaves are. Oh, jeez. So cool. It's like on this side. This is them. You can see where they're growing. Those are probably Wolwichia back there in those really tall pots. And then they've got really mature specimens to little seedlings that they're growing. These are, I don't think that's, I don't know what that is. Look at these little babies. So cool. Let's take a look at this side. Catch whatever we can on camera. So this is all their stuff. This is all not for sale. Propagation, seedlings, their own private collection plants. Oh my gosh, is that a Turbinocarpus? Oh my gosh, it looks ancient. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Lithops house. All right. Oh my gosh, Bye. I will. <laughs> Oh, look at this, well, witch ya. Another one. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm getting distracted as I'm walking. 
I have been given permission to go into the Lithops house. And I heard that it's spectacular because this is Lithops season and a lot of stuff is in flower. So they, they promised me I will not get yelled at for coming in here. I've never been in here before. Holy moly. Did I not budget enough time for today? Maybe. Oh my goodness. I wish I was more familiar with these species because then I can say, you know, oh my gosh, this is so rare. But I don't have a good sense of that. So we're just going to kind of walk through even though I don't know what I'm looking at. So we'll do our best. These, I think these are ancient. So Cactus Quest or Hunter at Cactus Quest did a video on plants for the Southwest probably several years ago. It's actually how I found this, like even knew about or came to know about this nursery. And after I saw his video, I came down here for myself. And in his video, he kind of talks about how the owners of Plants for the Southwest came upon this collection because I think somebody either sold the collection in like the 1980s and then the owners at Plants for the Southwest picked up the whole collection and that's probably what you see here today. And they've probably used these to, you know, collect seeds and grow thousands and thousands of plants and maybe sell thousands and thousands of seeds to the whole world, I believe. Wow, look at that. You know, one thing I want to see is if they have the conifidum that look like red lips. If I can see that in person, I think my entire month would have been made. I think it's something like that, but it has red lips. You can see those kind of look like mouths. So like some of the plants that we're seeing here are probably ancient. I was born in the early 1980s, so some of these are probably, you know, as old as I am or even older. Look at that flower. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I wish I could like gasp at rare stuff. I just don't know what's considered rare. Oh my gosh, so I don't know if any of you all, oh, I see some Haworthia. Cooperii. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is that not the most delicate? So delicate. I take a picture with my phone. Okay, I got distracted. Let's continue. I wish I was good at growing lithops. I just kind of have a 50% success rate. The ones that I leave on the bottom shelf or the middle shelf of my shade house where I keep my seedlings and then I just forget that they're there and I don't really specifically water them. They just get water runoff from the plants above them. Those are the ones that are still alive. I just don't get it. These look like their own private collection plants. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what is this? Oops, I think I'm too close. What is that color? It says Lithop Pseudo Var Growen Dress something. It looks like a literally a white pebble. Oh my gosh, I really don't want to mess with any of their stuff. I hope any Lithops like lovers are watching this and can tell me what I'm looking at. Oh, look at that pattern on that. Oh, look at the staging here. 
the color of the plant and the pot and the top dressing all melt together. That is very, very cool. Oh my gosh, look at the view from here. This is crazy. Oh, look at that color, it's purple, green purple. don't know how to walk through here. Kind of overwhelmed. So this is an employees only area just so that, you know, if you come here, don't just walk into this, uh, into this Lithop's house without permission. And they do have like an employees only sign. Sorry, my shadow is going to be in the way. That's unavoidable. Wow, this, is ha this has to be something special, right? Look at that. I think this is probably where they're preparing those pots that we saw out in the retail area. Gasteria mixed in here. Oh, some Corchilicaria afra. I see some euphorbia over there. You can see probably seedlings. Oh man, look at this space. Oh wow, look at that. So that's crazy variegation. Whoa, look at this. Aloe variegated. My little grow area in my backyard is probably maybe two of these tables. <laughs> this is so cool. We've got some euphorbia. I love the that kind of ghost flavor of the euphorbia when it has that farina on it. Let's see. More euphorbia. Oh my gosh, look at those. Will I ever get a plant to look like that? It's a lot of euphorbia. Wow, they have a bunch of like gasteria as well. Okay, how do I focus? All oh, these euphorbia and medusa. It makes me wonder if the astrophora that I was looking at, at, that we were looking at, at the fall plant sale, if they came from here. Because those pots kind of look like that, but it could, it could have been a Peter, Peter W. plant as well. I'm not sure. Look at all the Susanne. So many Susanne. Oh my gosh, those are so beautiful. Unbelievable. Wow. Look how big those are. Man. So it's, you know, 40 years of growing probably. I don't even know if I can do that because in 40 years I'll be in my 80s. So I'll just do it anyway. Look at this. Probably a lot of propagation. Be where they grow a lot of plants from seed. How cool. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. We're here. This is so cool. So I guess this is how they grow these lithops, just in these trays. If you look at the soil, it looks like a lot of pumice. Lots and lots of pumice, and then that's probably like a top dressing of small rocks, maybe? So cool. Wow, look at, okay, 
Look at that color. Oops. My goodness. I'm getting distracted as I'm walking. What the heck? Look how pretty this is. Okay, let's walk down this aisle. I hope I'm doing this justice. This is so special. Lots of euphorbia. Wow, look at that clump. My eyes are just constantly scanning. I think we looked over here already, but look at this. What is this? What is this? I'll take a picture. More euphor. <gasps> oh, I see some very special mammalaria back there. Those look like they could be Tlalochii, Tlaloki, you know, of the Crucigera family. Look at that one with the clumps on it. I'm so glad I bought one of the Talakii, Tlolochii, back several years ago. And it was $6, because now they're so expensive. Okay, let's go walk over there, because I see other genus of plants. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. In reality, I need to spend probably three hours in here to truly like see everything and admire everything and you know, really give the attention and awe <laughs> that the plant deserves, I guess. Gosh, their obesas are so beautiful. They've got like those, the purple in them. Some obergonia. Oh, epithelanta. Can't tell what the species is though. Probably micromeris would be my guess by looking at the spination. <gasps> they have more twalaki, twalochi. Yeah. Thalocactus bicolor. Oh, look, this is where they're, th uh, what is it? Tephrocactus geometrizans, or geometricus, sorry. Wow, that's like an egg. Wow, that's the biggest pad or ball I've ever seen on a tephrocactus. That's amazing. This is probably, maybe it's a little Boolianus? No, maybe I'm wrong. Look how funny they are. Turbinocarpus, bunch of tephrocactus. Probably Alexandria is in there as well. Oh, look at that. I've got some Aerocarpus. Darn that Aerocarpus. I need to figure out how to grow them. I'm just not good at growing them. The Luchtenbergias. Ooh, lots of Aerocarpus. Ooh, look at these little aerial carpus. But these are probably years old already, at least judging from the, <laughs> the progress of my plants. But also I'm really bad at growing them, so I'm not sure. These are two and a half inch pots if you kind of want a sense of how big the plant is. Ooh, some like Cachubianus type of plant. These are a good size. Epithelanta. Some really funny plant. Wow, that's so funny. Oh, look at these little tiny babies. Look at their astrophytum here. This is unbelievable. Like, this is where the magic happens, I bet. <laughs>
Super Kabuto. Let's see, I mean, let's walk on this side. just so overwhelming. Look at these. Let's go to the other side. See, look at how big these are. See some Capricorn mixed in there as well. Let's see over here. Look at that Euphorbia. Looks like a Suzanne. It looks ancient. Whoa. Look at that Anzuka. Look at that one. Looks like a finger. It's so funny. Isn't it interesting, all their different shapes and height? Look at these. so amazing seeing so many of them you know bunched together at once usually you just see a very small selection um, you know at like a retail nursery okay there's this bar in the way i'm going to go around we will continue wow look at that mound so you can see we're on the other side of the, the all those astrophytum. Look at that. Look at all those yellow flowers kind of glowing in the sunlight. So beautiful. There's a bee over there doing it, helping out. I don't know if you can see the little guy doing his thing. All right, we've done our best to cover what we can in here. Let's take one last look, and then we're gonna go into the next grow house. What a treat. Okay. Okay, I've got permission to go into this grow space. I've never been in here either. I've never been into any of the places. You see it says employees only. Whoa. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, look at that mammalaria. I haven't seen those kind of find them with the red lips yet. I'd assume if, if we came across it, it would be very obvious. Oh my gosh, 
Look, there's a there's plants under there. You would think. <gasps> we found them. This is the conophytum with the red lips. Oh my gosh! Look, look at. Once you see the red lips, you cannot unsee it. At least I think this is. I mean, they've got the little purple lips on there. How weird are those? Okay, let's continue. We're just gonna walk through this area and then come back and, cause on the right side, there's more stuff over here. So when we come back, we'll focus on that. This is about the best I can do. Let's see what kind of special, I bet there's like a lot of rare stuff. That is so weird looking. Wow, what is that? It's like a bunch of green little BB pearls and it has flowers all over it. Wow, there's some, some really unusual things in here. Can't stop taking pictures. Okay. I'm really scared of kind of fighting them as well. I mean, about taking care of them. I don't have the confidence that I can keep them alive. Wow, that's so interesting. They're so little. This is Kano Kalitzador Pence. It says 124.14, so 2014. Oh, and on the other side is a lot of stuff with in nursery pots. Those are probably getting ready for sale. But these are all like private personal collection stuff, I bet, because look at it. Amazing. Color is so incredible, so unusual. If I lived on a property like this, I would just never leave the house. Be in the garden nonstop. Or would it be the other way around, where you just want to get away? <laughs> I don't know. So far, even with my teeny tiny little grow spaces, it seems like I never want to leave. Oh, those are those really strange bunny ear things. So strange. This is my first time seeing them with my own eyes. Oh my gosh. So precious. There's actually hidden stuff in there at the same time. This looks like a lot of propagation. Let's see if we see any of the red lips. This is probably a version of the one with the red lips. It has the lips, it just doesn't have the red part. Oh, I see red lip ones down there. So crazy. Like these guys were just watered. Actually, yeah, I remember hearing them watering this while I was in the other Codiciform retail area. Because I think winter is their growth, like their growing season. Look at that, it's like a mouth open. That's so weird. Oh, look, is that red lips? No, maybe not. <laughs> it's like a spent flower. Oh, we've got a lot of Haworthia back here. I think it's also Haworthia growing season as well, with winter approaching. OK. 
Okay, let's come back on the other side. Lots of Haworthia. Beautiful Haworthia. Oh, this is the Cooperii. Cooperi, maybe? do you think that's been in there? Oh my gosh, look at the flower display here. Ooh. I see little bees getting into the houses and then having a field day with the pollen. Look at that. Wow, it's like veins. Oh my gosh, that's like the tiniest lithop ever. I wonder if it's because it's a baby or because it's supposed to be that way. just so weird and I love it. It's so attractive. Wow. So many different colors of flowers as well. White, yellow, pink, purple. Look at the veins on that. Okay, I've been here for about an hour. So, so far, so good. So after I, let me turn around so I can get my darn shadow out of the way. After I finish filming this, I will go walk through and make my final choices on what I may or may not take home. We'll see. Like that Onzuka is still in my mind or on my mind, but I have like three or four Onzukas already, you know, do I really need another one? It's like the Seriously, the perpetual question. I already have this. Do I need another one? Oh my gosh, look at this color. Those are so unusual. Hopefully some of you Lithops folks are not like screaming at me. I could stop moving over that plant. I want to see it. That's when we have to rely on the pause button. So many different colors and sizes. I never knew that, maybe those are like that. I think those are seedlings. Might be. You can hear me complaining less about being sunburnt because this is actually really not too bad. I am sweating, but I don't feel like I'm dying. So that's a good thing. I love this staging where they're all packed together like that. Probably started with like a few plants and they just kept multiplying over time. Like that mound is so cool. All right, we have actually made it through this house. Oh, can you imagine if I had a space this big in my backyard? My backyard doesn't even go that long unless I take my house out of the, off of the property. <laughs> Look at that. What a view, huh? Okay, so I don't have permission to go into this grow space, so we're just going to take a look at the out from the outside. 
If you saw Cactus Quest's video, Hunter, um, was he did get permission and he went inside and showed a lot of amazing aerial carpus specimens and you can see it from from here like that's fissuratus right in front of us it's a lot of um onzuka look at that i remember the first time i came here and i just did this like i just looked at it from the outside like this look at those onzuka they're like a foot and a half tall How old are those, would you guess? And there's dishes over there with multiple aerocarpus in them. Epithelanta in that dish right in front of our, like closest to us, and there's a crest in there. I see some Leuctembergia principis. I think uh, crime pays, but botany doesn't. He was also here, he did a video that I've watched many, many times. And he was inside this house, so you can watch his video also to see what's in here or get some close-ups. All right, let's go do our last walkthrough. Look at that, they have like a giant pile because this is, you know, wholesale. Look at all that pumice. Oh, what a dream just to have that much pumice. Looks like they have some landscape plants out here. Pharaoh cactus. I see stuff, uh, so bad at identifying. I see some golden barrel, looks like some palm, prickly pear, eh, it's got some sickness on it. Some, either Triclosarius maybe? Looks like Triclosarius. Looks like over here as well. So this is their like landscape, their own landscaped area. Look at that tree. Landscape, ooh. That's an astrophytum, or notum. It's got a few other stuff in there. These are all for sale. Feral cactus, glaucosins, $65. Let's see, 65. Even those giant ones, I'm pretty sure, are for sale. Okay, I really hope that I actually captured the essence of Plants for the Southwest. I hope I did. I hope I did it some justice to a degree. Uh, but, you know, I was a bit overwhelmed with being able to go into their Lithops house. What an honor. Um, I'm going to go and sign off and go do my shopping and go make the very difficult decision of what I'm going to bring home. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to head back home to Cookie in just a little bit. Take care. Bye-bye.